Hey everybody, welcome back, check it out. Yep, we have the Smart Air Inflator. This is gonna be super sweet. There's really not too much on the box, so we'll just get right to it. Links will be down in the description below if you're interested in anything. I have not taken it out of the box yet. So here's what you get. Cordless tire inflator user manual. So you get a charge cord, a trachea, inflatable mouth pieces, three of them. Then the unit itself, the display screen here with some functions, tells you how things work and what they do. And just some more specifications. So here's your bits. So you've got, so this here is an adapter for a mountain bike. That's pretty cool with the little Schrader valves. You got one here for filling up who knows whatever you want. Balls and stuff, or this is the one for balls. This is whatever has you can do floaties, stuff for your pool in the summertime. Here's the trachea, as they call it. So this must go on the end there. Okay. And you have your USB. It's a USB-C power. Seems to be getting really popular these days. Then you have the unit itself. that that's pretty cool so we'll charge it here in the bottom it's like a power looks like there's a cover on this get rid of that we don't want that okay well so peel the cover off the top there we go okay now this will go directly into there There we go. Okay. Okay, so on the bottom, power button. Hold it down till it lights up. Long press. So, S button, you see it says PSI. You can change to whatever pressure you want, whatever country, whatever you feel like. And it says if you long press this, a light will come on. So I'll hold the S button down again, light will go off. So this is preset pressures. I ran it down, it was set at like 28 or nine initially. So the unit will stop when you get to whatever you want. So for your car tires, you're probably gonna be 32, 35, you know, maybe 40. Check the side of your tire first. Um, and then when you hit start, it'll go and it'll pump till it gets to that pressure. So I'm gonna fill up a four wheeler tire which takes very low juice. I'm gonna put about five pounds in it. So let's bring it up to, yeah, let's bring it up to five. So I'm gonna hook it to the tire, then we'll hit go and it'll pump it up. So let's do that. All right, here's a flat four-wheeler tire. They only take about five pounds or so, so it's not too much. So make sure you're in view here. We'll get her turned on. Bring her up to five pounds, we'll get her connected, and then we'll hit the go button. There we go. Hit the five pounds and it stopped. And there you go. So that's pretty cool. This thing's gonna live in my truck. It's gonna be a pretty useful tool. Um, it says seven and a half. Let me get my tester and test it. And we'll see where it stopped. Okay, so my tester here, you'll see it's not all the way down. It reads a couple three pounds with nothing hooked to it. So keep that in mind. The air compressor here says seven pounds right now. So it looks like it probably doesn't overshoot on a big car tire, but it, these are such a low pressure tire, it's probably hard for it to get on there exactly. So what do we got? It's right at 10. So that's exactly right. This thing here is about three pounds. That says 10, so yeah, that means it's got seven in it. So it's right on. So keep that in mind. If you're filling an ATV tire, you're gonna probably go a couple pounds less 
maybe start at three or or something and see what you can get. So it goes three is as low and 150 is as high as it goes. So again, this is gonna live in my truck. It's gonna be a handy tool. Hold the power shutter down. And I'm pretty happy with this. So like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links down below in the description. If you're interested in one and let me know what you think. This is one useful tool. All right, well, I took my little bike for a spin. I noticed that it was low on air pressure. It's supposed to be 32 PSI in the tire. Only got six and a half. So, bring this up to 32. And hit go. Whoop, shoot, I hit the button. I hit KPA. I accidentally hit the button when I was putting her back. All right, got her 32 pounds again. Hit the go. <laughs> Let it do its thing. Getting there. I noticed my rear tire is low too, so I'll top that off at the same time. All right, it worked perfectly, and I checked the pressure with my gauge after it came right to 32 so um i need to charge the battery though because i never did charge it even when i got it so i'm gonna give it a charge and then i'll top off the rear tire but i'm pretty stoked about that